All right, so I'm coming to you uh, with this meditation from our tree. And uh, I won't say too much about the tree other than it's pretty cool because it was cut down to a stump and has grown back. I'll show you a little bit. Uh, it's like five sprouts around. There are chickens. And um, my kitty. Yep. So I've set up this little mat here. I have this little practice here. Uh, we're just going to do a little bit of standing, a little bit of seated, and a little bit of lying down. It's going to be really short this morning. And I'm going to show you that just two minutes of this beautiful arms in the air, and I'll give you a resource to Amy Cuddy, C-U-D-D-Y. And it's a TED Talk called Power Poses. Please watch it. It's fascinating stuff. Okay, so we're going to do this for two minutes. Arms in the air, both arms. I'm holding my phone. And uh, here we go. All right, so I'm just going to set you down. I can see the chicken coop behind me. All right, and we're going to start standing. And you can just stand. Feel like your feet on the ground. Feel your whole body. And bring your hands at the heart and just rest for a moment. Hands are in the tree here. You can hug a tree. You want to try to sit outside. Um, it really is great to do this practice in your house every day. But also if you have a spot outside like this, it can be very nice. All right, so let's just do a little bit of this moving and breathing. Big inhale up, reach the arms up, and then exhale, hands down. And just do that a few times. Arms up in a big V, you can look up, big breath in, and then back to the heart. And do this big breathing in and out through the nose. I'm right behind the tree. Um, you can just do that a couple more times. You can just do a circle. Come up. And in. And rest. You can just stand and rest. Let your shoulders relax. Let your feet relax. You can even let the belly be soft and hang out. Rest the whole body. The eyebrows, the eyes. Rest the breath. I do recommend you do a little bit more of moving and breathing first, but we're just going to keep this really short and simple. I'm going to come down and sit. And <clears throat> just show you how easy it is to have a little bit of yoga and meditation. So a little bit of moving and breathing is good first. You can get your, your whole nest feathered, if you will. To uh, quote David G, he's a great resource for meditation. It's a great attitude about it. You know, it's you don't have to try to to be anything other than what you are. Just resting in your own natural state. And so, having a few breaths first, and stretches, and twists, maybe whatever it calls to you to get comfy, and then to just rest in that seat and. I drew the drawing of this pose with the legs out, so you can do any seat that you like. You can even be in a chair. I do recommend putting your palms up to release, and if you like, if it's comfy, you can do this mudra, this thumb and forefinger together, symbolizing the connection that we all have, that we forget about. Just resting, and Kitty loves to meditate and rest in this yogic energy. Naishta. Naishta that led me to Naishta that led me to Naishta. Good story. About how I met my husband through my cat, through my dog, through the beach. Through choosing to love that which was in front of me. My, my teacher said, go be intimate with your cat. And I was ready for a partner. And lo, the cat wanted a dog, and the dog wanted a dog friend that had a great partner for me and his father. All right, anyway, continue resting, and I'll do a, just a couple minutes of silence. I like to take the last couple minutes with my arms up, so I do this. 
palms up. You can do a deep breath with it and stretch a little and then just try to rest in that. The arms can get a little tired, but um, I will watch the clock for you here. Two minutes with the arms up. If the mind wanders, you can use a mantra to come back to the breath. So you can just follow a soft breath in and out. Maybe with I am on the inhale and calm on the exhale. Or any word you wish to bring into your energy. Also the eternal sound of OM. This hum of the earth OM. Hum of all things. You can just let the sounds that come in, be they in your environment or the background of mine, just let them float in and out on the breath and bring your relaxation back with the breath. You won't have to be in this nirvana state to bring great benefits to the body with meditation. You can just rest as you are. Already perfect. All right, so it feels like two minutes. We're right there in a few more seconds. You can, like I said, move the arms around if you need during that time. Feather your nest to stay with Jesus. And then it's really good to stretch a bit after you've done that movement with the arms. What you're doing there is flushing these glands that don't flush themselves when you get your arms up. And so now if you can move that lymph around some more, I promise you great benefits. And I really had this realization this morning myself that I, I need this every day. I've sort of skipped my practice the last few days and really uh, had some trouble with stress and turmoil in my emotions. So I'm really happy to give you this and I hope it does you some good. We haven't done the lying down bit yet. You can do that for homework. Just lie down and rest. Alright, I like to uh, seal it in by just bringing the hands right in the hip crease and bowing forward. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day, and thank you so much for practicing with me, for taking this on. I wish you health and happiness. Enjoy.